Good day to everyone. I'm Mad, Juan Tamad, and welcome to another episode of Farming Made Easy here at Made Farms. I'm trying to farm here. For today's video, we'll talk about our no smell chicken coop made from indigenous materials. So, this is our no smell deep chicken coop litter made from indigenous materials. Let's go through the parts and walk through the design. Our chicken coop is made of cocoa lumber and bamboo. The roof is made with GI, but you can always use NIPA to provide a better insulation. So the roof is a semi-monitor design to allow the hot air to go up and escape this way. We also have laying boxes at the side so our hens can have a place to lay their eggs. Our hens provide us with fresh eggs daily. This odorless chicken coop is perfect for the urban setting where your neighbors are in close proximity. We store our eggs pointy end downwards to prolong its shelf life and increase its hatchability. We use regular auto feeders and auto drinkers to provide water and feeds for our chickens. The secret to an odorless coop design is the mulch. The mulch absorbs the moisture in the chicken manure and prevents it from smelling. In turn, we use the natural ability of chickens to scratch and process the mulch for the vermin beds under the coop. We also add our vegetable and kitchen scraps to the mulch. When the level of the mulch drops from a foot deep, we add a new layer of grass to the coop. Instead of burning our grass, we use it to absorb the moisture in our chicken manure and to add carbon in our vermicast. We don't need to buy expensive shredders to process our grass. We just feed our chickens and they will happily scratch our grass for us. The flooring of our coop uses bamboo spaced apart to strain the shredded mulch as it falls down the vermi bin. Because the mulch absorbed the moisture in the manure, the dried manure is now ready to be processed by the worms. The bottom of the coop is surrounded by banana stalks to provide shelter and moisture for the worms. Because the mulch is already pre-shredded by the chickens, the worms should have an easier time decomposing or digesting the grass. Here you can see the worms seeking shelter underneath the banana stalks and providing us with grade A vermicast. This vermicast is already ready to use for the farm to fertilize our crops. So thumbs up if you like us to make future videos on how we process our vermicast. So there you have it, a walkthrough of our chicken coop made with indigenous materials. Again, thank you for watching our videos. To learn more about how we make farming easy here at Made Farms, subscribe to my YouTube channel Madoda or add us on Facebook Modular Aquaponics. See you in the next videos. I'm trying to farm here.